They may be feeling so high school now, but have you ever wondered what Taylor and Travis would have thought of one another back when they were actually in high school? We're the same age, We so I kind of like, through high school and everything, I knew who Taylor was as she was like getting her career started. While he didn't give away too many details, Travis talking about how he knew of Taylor back in high school sure makes you wonder if he had that celebrity crush on her way back then. Who's your celebrity crush? Mine was Taylor Swift. <laughs> All right now. Well, if Travis was crushing on Taylor back in high school, he wasn't alone. As when Taylor first hit the country music scene, she captured teenage hearts everywhere with her catchy songs, iconic look, and guitar yielding performances. It's strange to think the songs we used to sing, the smiles, the flowers, everything. And even back then, Taylor's live performance stage presence was unbelievable. You can see that I've been crying, and baby, you know I'll be right there. Even if you didn't listen to country music, you knew who Taylor Swift was. You should have said no, you should have gone home, should have thought twice before you let it all go. You should have said no, baby, and you might still have me. And of course, it wasn't long before Taylor crossed into the pop music scene to produce one of the best pop albums of all time, 1989. So I really, I really started listening to Taylor's music uh, when she came out with 1989. Well, I, I initially uh, mentioned, mentioned it to Tay. I was like, how funny would it be? <laughs> If I just like <laughs> rolled out on one of the bikes during uh, the 1989, like yeah, out, I know exactly you know, about yeah. that era. Of the, uh, she started laughing. She was like, "Would you, would you seriously be up for like doing something like that?" And I was just like, "Are you what?" Uh, yeah, I would love to do that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and uh, sure enough, she she found the perfect perfect part of the show for me to come in. There was no like bike in case I like ran into somebody else or like hit one of the dancers or anything. It was like the safest option. Okay, Travis, we know you love 1989 and I sure hope you get the chance to ride that bike during the era's blank space performance. But could you tell us more about the time you first saw Taylor, please? Was it one of Taylor's first music videos? Or perhaps it was during her 2009 Saturday Night Live debut, when a then 19-year-old Taylor was the musical guest and sang Love Story. Was it later in 2009 when Taylor hosted SNL for the first time and delivered her self-written opening monologue and performed her hit song, You Belong With Me? I don't know about anyone else, but these days I'm partial to this version. Anyhow, knowing just how big of an SNL fan Travis has been all his life, it does seem probable that Killa Trav watched Taylor's early SNL episodes, and I think not too much of a stretch to then imagine that her comedic charms may have caught his attention way back then, the same way Travis's SNL comedic charms caught Taylor's attention just before they met. We worked with both Taylor and Travis Kelsey, like oh, before they yes. got together. Yes, so yes. we and we can cut this out if you guys don't want to say this, but like she oh what? Should I say that, that she kind of told us that she watched his SNL episode. Oh yeah, yeah. And was like oh. saw him in our video and was like, Oh, this guy seems funny. Oh, that's cool. sweet. Yeah. So like a little bit brought them together and we were like hmm. knowing that snl was seemingly the first time taylor saw travis it would be pretty cool if the first time he ever saw her was when she was on snl 
Regardless, I just love Taylor and Travis's connection to SNL and comedy in general, and no doubt their ability to laugh together and express themselves through humor deepens their bond and is part of what makes them so compatible. And while we'll likely never know about the first time Travis saw Taylor, unless of course one of them decides to spill the beans about it someday, it is fun to guess. And based on what Travis has shared about knowing who Taylor was in high school, I think we can narrow it down to being during that time frame to either one of Taylor's first music videos or SNL performances. I think Taylor also gives us a clue with this lyric from her song, The Alchemy, which she has made clear is about Travis. The lyric, still reserved for me, seems to be a clue that Travis's heart was reserved for Taylor a long time ago. Perhaps by way of a celebrity crush a teenage Travis once had on Taylor? And when they finally met a year ago, his heart was still reserved for her. Only this time around, the Kansas City Chiefs star tight end was in a position to go for what he wanted, and boy, he got her. He got her all right, like some kind of modern Romeo straight out of a storybook, tossing friendship bracelets instead of pebbles. And with declarations like these, who needs sonnets? Uh, take a page out of Taylor Swift's book. Well, I was disappointed I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. Shout out to Taylor for coming through and seeing me rock the stage. There might have been a few Brads and Chads that were booing, but for the most part, <laughs> Brads and Chads. everybody was fucking screaming their tail off for That's her. awesome. Yeah, they helicoptered us. Well, not us. That just seems like how much? <laughs> yeah, they don't want it. They don't. This is all because Taylor's the biggest and the best thing possible. Yeah, of course. <laughs> As long as we're happy, we can't listen to anything that's outside noise. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy that I, I, some people say the glass is half full, half empty, and my glass is all the way full. It's all the way full. I'm just, um, I'm oozing life right now, and it's just so much fun. I was just talking to my significant other and uh... It's been the funnest year of my life. I can definitely say that. That's my girl. That's your girl. You know what I mean? That's that's it my lady. It so it's it's like I'm proud of that. Shakespeare who? But seriously, Travis and Taylor are such a great couple with an amazing love story. And I don't know about all of you, but I can't wait for this upcoming NFL season. Last season was such a magical time for Taylor and Travis's love story and watching it unfold in the backdrop of the Chiefs winning yet another Super Bowl was so much fun. For a look back on that, and to get excited for this upcoming season of love and football, check out our new video, Get Hyped, where Taylor's songs narrate a fun montage that looks back at last season and forward to the upcoming season. I think you'll enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you liked this video. Please consider subscribing if you did. Thanks so much for watching.